What's up, everybody? The Truth Teller here for NewsCaller.com. Wanted to go ahead and give some quick commentary in regards to AB60, which was just passed in the California State Assembly yesterday. And this is the, um, the bill that allows people who are in this country illegally to obtain driver's licenses. Uh, this is a very hot topic. Um, I've been on the phone with several people today, and um, a lot of people are opposed to this um, bill that just passed, and it's going to be... Um, shipped over to the governor's desk. Check this out. Assemblyman Donnelly voted no for this, and Assemblywoman Brown, which is down the hill, her um, district starts at the 215 split, San Bernardino, Rialto, Colton, Fontana, and Grand Terrace. And if I missed any other uh, city, I am sorry. I got off the phone with her press um, person down in San Bernardino, Miss Jones. I wanted to know if they had actually put out an official statement in regards to why she voted yes. And to my surprise, you know, these, um, these spokespersons for these uh, servants, they're not too sharp because uh, you would think they would have their talking points ready to go, especially on something this hot. So uh, she kind of gave me the run around. You could tell she wanted to pull the website up as I was speaking to her. I told her, go ahead. You know, it's always this and that. You know, the bottom line is this. The question I posed to her, a, why did you vote for this? B, are these part of uh, the, the people who are here illegally, did they vote for you? Are they your constituents? So that's kind of pretty much of what I wanted to know. Why are you voting yes for something um, in regards to driver's license when they didn't even vote for you? I mean, what were you polling your constituents? Were they in, were they in favor for it or not? Or is this just pretty much a uh, political feel-good Democrat tactics? So, you know, we just got to kind of start asking these servants, who do you work for? Do you work for your constituents on the state level or uh, pretty much on the federal government side? Do you work for the corporate lobbyists on K Street? So um, I gave her a 5, uh, 5 p.m. deadline because I'm going to be running with a piece in regards to uh, the driver's license issue. So go ahead and people, let me know below what you think about this. Hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or uh, comment below. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? You know, I'm just trying to pretty much poll the community. Uh, you know, a lot of people are asleep in regards to these topics because, you know, they're out there hustling trying to make a, a Federal Reserve note. So uh, that's going to be devalued, and uh, that was another bill that, that went through. Uh, let me kind of dovetail into that. California State Assembly um, pushed the minimum wage to be increased to $10 by 2016. But here's this was one of my uh, issues with that I was discussing this with actually with my wife. Look, you can raise the minimum wage as much as you want, but if you have dollar devaluation from the Federal Reserve with all the money that they're pumping and all this quantitative easing, it doesn't matter. Do you know? I mean, how, how many of you have listened to your grandparents, great grandparents, and they were like, hey, I could buy for uh, 50 cents, some bread, some apples, and just go down the whole list, right? Now you can't even get a, a, a candy bar for a buck, practically. So um, I'm going to stay on this, and I'm definitely going to put a piece out on Assemblywoman Brown and as to why she voted yes. So get back at me. Just remember, it doesn't matter if you drink tea on the left or coffee on the right. Just don't drink the Kool-Aid. I am out.